Yo, welcome back everybody to another video. So in today's video, I wanted to show you guys this cool uh, package that I had found scouring the interwebs called Emblem Carousel. And what this carousel, well, what this library is, it's a uh, library agnostic, which means that it's a dependency free, sorry, framework independent, dependency free, lightweight carousel library. And in their words, it aims to solve the hardest technical challenges about building carousels. And for me personally, I have built a lot of carousels, and it's either I have to um, settle with Slider JS, and sometimes the carousel might be slow, or go with Swiper JS, or any of the other libraries. But this is another um, option that you have available to. It's fantastic. It's also open source, um, and you have an extensible API that you can actually access to be able to make uh, your own creative carousels if you want. Uh, so in the next couple of videos, we're going to be learning about how to use this. In today's video, we're going to learn how to install it and just basic set it up. And as we do go on learning how to use React, we're actually going to be also dabbling into the uh, the Mantine carousel. What this carousel is, it's actually um, built upon the Embla carousel and supports most of its features. So we're going to be learning about how to use this and combine it with the Embla carousel. And um, since, like, I truly believe that this is an awesome uh, project, and if you can contribute to it, so give special thanks. And obviously, like, if you have the means, sponsor the project. And I think it's important to also you know, give a shout out to the people that actually made this happen, and it's honestly amazing. Um, so, without further ado, let's go ahead and actually learn about how to install this in a React app. All right, so I've opened up my code editor, and the first thing we're going to do is create a React app. And I'm going to do npx create-react-app, and I'll call it embla uh, carousel tutorial. And let it work its magic. All right, so now we're just going to go ahead and cd into the directory, and we're going to install embla carousel. So the npm install embla-carousel-react-save. And I'll also go ahead and open up my source, go into app.js, and let's go ahead and just clean out all this stuff. I'm going to convert our function to be ES6. I'll do const app is equal to function like a show. And I'll just type in here, hello world, just so we have something inside of there. Let's get rid of that. And we'll just do npm. So just to make sure that everything is working with uh, the Embla carousel, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go and import it. So I'll do import use Embla carousel from Embla carousel react. And let's go ahead and get rid of this hello world. We don't need that. And the cool thing about the Embla carousel, um, all we need to do is just oops, do const Embla ref is equal to use Embla carousel, call it as a function. And now we can just use it however we want. So what I'm going to do is inside of my main div right here, I'll just go ahead and do ref is equal to whoops embla care embla ref like so perfect. And just so we have some content inside of there, what I'm going to do is do exactly how the documentation is. Have a one parent tag inside of there. Have individual div tags. So I'll do slide one. Copy this paste a couple times and then we'll do slide two and slide three. So you can tell that it is working. We can move things side to side, but it's not looking good. Um, and this is, that's a really cool thing about this package is that we can apply some creativity to it and make our individual divs slide how we want. So the way that this is gonna work is, at least stated in the documentation, we're gonna have to add some CSS to this. So this main div right here, this uh, Embla container right here, we're gonna give it a class name, and we'll call it uh, embla underscore container. And each individual slide is gonna have a class name is equal to embla underscore slide. And this is coming straight out of the documentation. Um, just paste it, oops, paste it like so. And we'll leave app as is. And so going to the app.css, what we're gonna do is that. That's that should be there we go. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're going to give uh, our app a overflow to be hidden like so. 
and then we're going to do under dot embla container we're going to do display to be flex and then finally we'll do embla underscore slide and we'll do flex zero zero one hundred percent like show and so now if you actually slide let me zoom out a little bit there we go that it should work there we go perfect alrighty so that was a fairly quick tutorial in the next video we're going to be talking about how to work with the API and set that all stuff up and after that we're going to be talking about how to work with the Mantine carousel which is also built upon Embla and using that into as much detail as I can make it and then finally if I can find a way to make it on React Native if it's even possible I'm not really sure maybe it is maybe it's not who knows we'll find out <laughs> anyways um, if you enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.